and a good morning people it's 22nd of September 2018 it's a Saturday and this is a three set open camera Android app update number one audio meter number two ghost image and number three show crop guide they are important as each other so that's why I'm going to do them in a three um, step one video shall we say open camera if you don't know already got a playlist it is on Android and there's a load of stuff here. You'll see that the new updates, quite a few of them are in Camera 2 API which I don't think I have on this mobile so therefore I won't talk about them but the things that are there are the ones that I am going to talk about of course which is Ghost Image and whatever it was so um, let me just remind myself what it was and then we'll get cracking because I've got a lovely little <laughs> stop motion video to show you as well and I'll tell you why. Right, Audio Meter audio meter why is this important well when you're recording video and there's a ton of wind or you know you don't know how quite honestly you know your audio meter let's be honest this is what happens look if I record a video right now um, one two three four five I mean I'm recording the audio but it's just not showing up there obviously you can hear me because I'm using a separate microphone so how do we get that started and what does it look like we go to settings and we go to on-screen GUI and we go right to the very bottom and right to the very bottom keep going uh, where is it uh, I've gone past it yeah here it is it is show audio level meter check okay demonstrate go back go back record now you can see an audio meter if I speak really closely da -da 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 one, two, three, I'm talking, about, okay, I'm talking about, I don't know, 12 inches, 40 centimeters or so away. Ba, 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 ba. That was me banging the thing. Right, that's the audio meter. I think it's really useful recording video. Stop. Then we go to settings and we will talk about on-screen GUI again. And this time it is going to be right down the bottom, I think, wasn't it? Keep going and right now at the moment I've covered in a previous video the um, showing a grid now I'm using a Phi 3x3 okay fine that is just a a grid but underneath that is show a crop guide a crop guide displays a rectangle showing what the specified aspect ratio is and you can do a load of different ones so this is the point if you know that you want to shoot and with my camera here sorry I've got up just going I've got pad here somewhere which is, mine's a 13, 12, 13 megapixel, 4160 by 3120 on the Moto G4. If I rack that down to 16 by 9, which is um, 1.78 there, I go down to about a 9.7 megapixel. And I'll tell you why that is useful. Um, and that is that I am going to select the 16 by 9 and go back. So it means that I'm still shooting or taking a photograph, shall we say, in exactly the right um, 4x3 maximum for my phone. But you'll see now, if I just put my hands in, of course, that you'll see the green ratio around the side. So I can actually take a picture. I'll come to this in a second. I've actually um, cut myself um, on this damn multi-tool thing doing the stop motion anyway the point is is that you can set it up so I can take a full 4x3 and with an idea that I've got a lovely um, green rectangle on 16x9 if I go back down again just to see the different uh, bits because I want to keep going without going too quick but without going too slow uh, the one I wanted was this crop here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I can say that I can actually have any um, crop guide that I like. For this purpose I'm just going to put in a square and I'm going to go back. Now I think, I'm going to leave it like that, I think the last one, just to remind ourselves because this is the really interesting actually, really really interesting, we've covered um, audio meter and number three show crop guide, ghost image. What on earth is that about? What the recommendation is from the developer is using a ghost image will actually help um, just see what you've done before, especially in something like stop motion. So I'll tell you what I've done a couple of seconds ago, and that is that I've gone through, why are these all these things here? 
Okay, so what that means is that I've taken, uh, using a setup, you know, about half an hour ago, and then I've gone down and I've used this um, multi-tool and I've made a stop motion. And because it's on screen, I'm going to demonstrate it in a couple of seconds. It's really easy. Bear in mind I particularly um, chose this multi-tool because it's big and heavy and metal and I ended up cutting myself when I was opening up one of the knives and putting it back again. And that is that I needed to place the object directly back again exactly where it more or less came from. The actual thing at the end of it, uh, the ghost image helped me, was the video I'm about to play, which is this one. So this is my result from my little stop motion. Just play it. So it there's 59 images here, which move along something like, he says. Uh, yeah, so that's more or less what it looks like um, on the streaming resolution. So I've made a little stop motion. I use that in um, Sony Vegas on desktop to make the stop motion at something like three frames per image. But the point of it is, is how do you do it and why is open camera so important for it? So the way we do that is you go on and we've actually got back to our open camera again, he says, waiting for it to come in. Right, so here we are, look, and my stop motion at the moment, or my ghost image rather, is not set up purposely. Um, so I want to look at the ghost image. Now what you can do is you can take a selected image to show as a ghost. I will demonstrate that. So for an example, if I wanted to look at some of my recent images, I could go in and let's pick one. Let's try that one. So I'm going to show this as a ghost image for when I'm going to take another photograph. So if I take these things out the way live, you can actually see there is a ghost image of the little case. So if I wanted to take another, um, okay, I can't put that one in there because it's obviously um, zoomed out in the wrong way, but you can get an idea of how it works. More importantly, let's do it as a last image taken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, change this to last photo taken. Go back, go back. Right, the last photo taken, I'm just gonna take one. Taken, and now that is ghosting that image right now. And there it is, but it's actually done it in the wrong way. Okay, fair enough, let's go back. I'll tell you what, let's, let's, let's do that as it sits. So in other words, if I was gonna do another stop motion, I took the picture, say there, Right, let's try that. Right, so there you go, there's, there's my ghosting image. If I wanted to do my stop motion, I can move these. Can you see the way it helps? It's ghosting where I, I was last time. You can have a play around with this ghost image idea. What I did um, was start looking at it today as open camera Android updates 22nd of September 18 audio meter ghost image show crop guide look let's leave it there keep thinking keep using the brilliant open camera 